Hey, it's Eric Lederman. I'm producer at Late Night with Seth Meyers. You're listening to the PBR Podcast. Crushed it! <laughs> One take Lederman. There it is, everybody. It rolls right off the tongue. Yeah. Oh, is this Casey and Inversio? Oh, it's another hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Four subjects. So they didn't record it on an iPhone? Yeah. <laughs> we just did it on an iPhone. It sounds so good. Ah, what's up, everybody? PBR Podcast. Uh, Mike Plano, Derek D., Joe Gatto, and our very special, special, special. The one and special only guest, Eric, Eric Lederman. Lederman everybody. Everybody. The man, the myth, the legend. Do you know, brother? My speech impediment gets yeah. in the way only. During introductions of people, you That's don't have I, a speech. Impediment. I do too. You have like a. You always complain about your stupid frangulum. My frenulum is too short. I know. I'm sorry. My frenulum. Okay. When can I see it? Oh, it's not like, like I'll that. stick my tongue out. Ready? Oh, oh okay. He's exactly. I, I'm tongue tied. Oh, no, it doesn't, go, it doesn't come out. No, all right. I thought it was like a grill you were showing me. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Check out uh, these teeth. They wanted to cut it when I was a kid, and I, man, I, I oh, That's said for no. real. Yes. I thought you've been lying about this the whole time. Uh, no, you were thinking about frenulum. Sorry. Oh, Premium. Yeah. That's, mm. that's weird. So does it limit you in any other ways besides uh, I stu- Every now and then. <laughs> only when I'm introducing things. That's it. That's my it. whole life. That's our worst it's part like of chewing. it. like chewing. Is it something weird? Guys, just give me a minute. <laughs> only, if I'm intru- <laughs> only if I'm introducing what I'm eating. Like, really? you know, the steak. For the 48 steak minutes, really we're going to talk about it. The, the, the <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap Guys, wrap don't wrap miss this episode <laughs> of PBR Podcast. They had Eric Lederman, our producer at Late Night Seth. They talked about a frenulum for I'm, 35 minutes. Are you sure, Mike, that's what it's called? It's called. I mean, you can fact check it. I Googled it. It's a frenulum. And here's what the first Google says a short frenulum is a condition in which the frenulum of the penis which is an elastic Whoa. band of tissue under the gland that's also a frenulum that Definitely. connects to this the, I'm going to stop reading right stop there. reading yeah, but that's yeah. the same thing that line on your penis and the, and the line on your tongue same yeah it's also thing. from Toy Story you got a frenulum and me yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> same one that's a uh, different I mean you know you guys are, uh, this is turning into bullying Okay. <laughs> no, it's bullying's right. back, bullying's, by the way. Bullying's it's back in a big way. They thought it was done. I'm stoked about it. Yeah. They made a whole How so, turn. Man. Yeah, yeah. It was, How's it back? Well, you know, the news cycle's real rapid. <laughs> <laughs> they, tried, they tried to kill it, you know, and then they brought it back. And people are angry out there. They're going to bring back bullying. It's so, like, oh, wait, how am I going to sh- be uh, shaped as a human being? How am I going to stand up and uh, accomplish something? We're going to start bullying people. So it's back. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out. We've been waiting for it. We've yeah. been waiting. So Eric Lederman and I know each other through uh, before you were big time. Eric Lederman uh, worked on a Practical Jokers as uh, yeah, executive, pro- uh, executive uh, producer for a while. Uh, and I started, uh, when we started, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you put us in order. When we oh, start- so you want me to produce what you're going to say right now? When we started <laughs> the show. Let me put on the hat. Okay. When, we, when we started the show, <laughs> yeah. your order of favorites was Sal, Brian, me, then Mur. And now I'm going to say your favorites are Brian, me, Sal, Mur. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Sal, I'll tell you why. Because Sal's got all that potential. Yeah. But we get it. Like, you know, he's doing the night shifts. He's like, <laughs> like, so you want to step up and be a friend? Like, that's fine. It's good. To see. Like, oh. And there he goes. He's just bronze all the way. <laughs> and, you know, Murray, that kid's got a lot of <laughs> potential. <laughs> he's a good guy. You know what? Mur, Murray is, you know, it was my birthday the other week, and he actually texted me. That's sweet. And, um, did sorry, you, I, did sorry you I missed it. Yeah. I called no, you. No, you're great. <laughs> you're wonderful. No, I, I called you. You you did, huh? Yeah. Are you sure? Let's go to the... Yeah, go to, go to your... Go to the video tape. You really sent the, vo- go to, you sent the voicemails. I, I'm seeing... I'm <laughs> go seeing. to your missed calls. Call you back! <laughs> exclamation point. So easy. No, but um, but you and I talk like human beings. Yeah. Um, but I didn't talk to the Mertron 3000. But he, he <laughs> actually... <laughs> he actually texted me on my birthday. He's big on that. He yeah, remembers he's wonderful. Birthdays. He's good at that. And he it was so appreciated. And then, of course, Q... Because uh, we're friends. Yep. Uh, but uh, then I, uh, of course, I did not hear from Sal because, you know, there's an opportunity coming around, uh, some kind of comedic opportunity. I know he's very busy. Yep. You know, you wake up, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon, whatever it is. Like, there could be something <laughs> comedic happening, you know, <laughs> on your phone. I get it. You know, <sighs> tweeting, liking, I get it. But Gatto, I just felt his presence all the way from Long Island. Because I, I, he ca- he yeah. gen- I know you genuinely care. Yes. Sal wants to care. He's just, it's not happening. <laughs> He really means it. He it's does. It's it a, a sincere very good, moment. That's good. Yeah. Sincere moments are sure they're all real. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, yeah. then he's got to wrap it up. He's super busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just give a little bit <laughs> of Rahmanas. Little, and, and you, you came in strong. Like you came in like as a guy. We're like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna like this guy. Well, that, that's got, the interview. The, our Sky, Joe always talks about the Skype interview. Our Skype interview was amazing. It was so dumb. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like in the beginning? He was in L.A., the, right? You were in the L.A. Interview, I was in L.A., and they interviewed me over Skype. For the, his position. For yeah. producer, All right? four of you guys. For a producer on a practical oh, joke. Now, to keep in mind, I used to, now, uh, this is an audio medium. <laughs> but I am, Take I'm, a look at this picture, everyone. Whoa, at home this listening. is how I looked. This is Man- Charles Manson. So you and Q back in the day? Actually, I was... 
Eric and then Q was leader. Man. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's really happened. I love him, but you know, he did take my look. But I came in, and I, so I gave him a Skype interview with this with this look, and I had like my dog on my lap, and I'm like, I'm not gonna get this fucking job. I had just like been, I I've, I've been fired twice. I was fired once on Ellen, God bless, and then I was fired um, for this pilot that I was doing about some small podunk town in Arizona that they wanted to like basically turned into Duck Dynasty. It was like some weird recluse town in Arizona. And I had been fired like two days before and I didn't care. It was uh -huh. great. I called the like I called the guys who were in the production company douchebags. Yeah. Because they would not do it. Wouldn't talk to me. It was it was a bad scene. And so then I get I'm like, I'm not gonna get this stupid job. Yeah. And of course Is this when on, the show was already established or brand this, new? This is when the show was established, but like we still they were still we're transitional and sure. it was it was a tough time. Yeah, it was, it was season a tough time. Two three? Uh, point two, five, yeah, point two point three. Five and no, three. It was like two and a half. Yeah. No, let's check the tape. <laughs> um I didn't it was know. In the beginning. I would definitely say it was in the beginning. Yeah, but the but the show had caught interest and I knew about the show and I had seen snippets of it. I'm like, the show's hilarious, but like I'm not gonna get it. They're not gonna bring me out from LA. And long story longer, we just kept talking. <laughs> we kept we kept chatting and chatting and I was like this is going great these guys are normal they're genuinely funny and um, the guy uh, the bald guy with like the slight facial hair like uh, is a problem <laughs> and, <laughs> and they made that very clear even in there they were like they were like I'm like they're busting on this guy I'm like this is gonna be great um, but he's done really well and then they brought me out and like honestly I, I I've said this to you a million times in all sincerity it's like when they hired me, they took a chance on me. I took a chance on them, but like not really. Like they already had their their shit together yeah. enough, and um, it, it changed my life. And then I ended up coming out to New York. And then ended up great. getting over to late night, and we had a very successful time together. And it was it really made me realize that I was good at this, and that um, there were people out there who really wanted to be better. And like I had like come through a series of shit shows yeah. and like just bad experiences. Were you producing in Chicago first too? Because you said... No, no, no. I, I was raised in Chicago and I was in New York for two years and then LA for 12 before oh, I came wow. back yeah. here in wow. 2013. Yeah. It's all on my IMDb that no one checks <laughs> except for me and my mother. <laughs> I actually read it today. Yeah, hey, read it today. <laughs> Plot, read it today. You knew you'd come It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It could use some work. <laughs> but that's really... And then I just got there and they let they let me be me yep. and, they, and I also let them be them and that's the thing that I think to stroke both of our ding-dongs yes. was missing from what before. It's well, like, that, yeah. Th these guys need to do what they need to do, and you need to let them. Yeah. And well, Polano, when, when no, I was around for yeah. uh, oh, of another showrunner yeah. who, uh, who didn't was. let anybody do anything, including like a camera guy. Like, <laughs> like you get out of my shot guy. Like, the best guys who do this, and I learned this from my current boss and several before, that you let the talent be the talent, and when there's something that they feel strongly about, they step up. And then they also fight for the talent when you know there's a way to do it with the network, but they step up and really you got to trust in the vision and you have to let them lead, but also know like when to pull back a little and do mm -hmm. that in, in the right way. And the network gets that now and God bless true man. Like yeah. they're letting them do their thing. And at the same time, like these guys didn't back down ever. You hear that time ink? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here it Today's goes. podcast here it brought to you by time ink. <laughs> yeah. oh, geez. Well, the, just what do so I do you know, now? Do I sit back and no, tell just, me the time ink story? Well, just let you know no, the time no. ink story. It's, it's it, Derek uh, used to be on a show called fast lane daily. Right? Yeah. FLD. And you, you want to tell? Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was just doing Time Inc. bought it. Hold on a second. That's an acronym. <laughs> FLD is fast lane too. Yeah. yeah. Time Inc. bought it and then 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 it decided thing. not to But what it. you said was perfect. Let the talent be the talent. Let, you know, it, and we were doing great audience wise and then uh, they canceled it. Yeah, that's right. But anyway, just looking at your IMDb, you were also known as. Wait, 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 wait. Look at, look at me when you look at my IMDb. <laughs> It's it's, yeah. it's 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 getting to me. Okay. Also known as M. Eric Lederman. That is, I don't know what kind of bullshit that is. Is that a typo? Go for like an M. Eric Gamelon. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's right here on your details. Also known as M. Eric. It's probably M. Just for Mister, and someone got stoned when they were inputting the R. <laughs> but we got the M and the period, and then we're gonna. Wrap so now it up. now you're learning something about yourself. I am, God bless God bless you. I mean, you me. should check your IMDb more. <laughs> I know. I, you know I'll call what? your mother and she'll tell you what's up. Hi, mom. <laughs> Twist. It's, that's, that's actually the best use of advice I've gotten in a long time. M dot. M dot. M dot. We're all, all going to die. Or, or Merrick. <laughs> no one can Merrick. keep track of these details. It might be Merrick. 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 That's what I said. Merrick. 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 <laughs> God, there's free B here. There's you, you were saying something? Oh, yeah. FLD. <laughs> You're just waiting to pull that violin music up that I see on your stupid well, iPad. This is what I'm doing over here. I'm trying to like. Also, it's roll. over. Let it go. Go on to the next thing. I didn't even do it. <laughs> are, you, are you Fred Norris singing it over there? I'm prepared. A little Fred bit. Norris. I'm prepared. Every time Derek starts to cry, I do. You know, I gotta put. Do people the cry? Eric, am I crying? Derek? I cried earlier. But, you cried earlier uh, today? I cried earlier today. Yeah, because how small the hotel room is that we're in? No. <laughs> no. You mean the window? No, I didn't cry, but they were getting very deep. 
Oh, really? Emotional consideration. <laughs> who was the, you by Wyndham. <laughs> who was the guest that you were... Your Nobody. Was Nobody. It was just ours. us. One of they ours. Were, it, was, it was our Christmas special. It was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Or last week. You guys are really yeah. ahead Two of weeks it. ago. Yeah. Only because Gatto's, I mean, I'm Polano, I know you're an organized guy, but like Gatto's like, oh, we're going to do the Christmas special. It's like a magazine. <laughs> it's like October. It's you, like, we got to think with the Christmas. Just, <laughs> you, have no, you have no, no idea. You have no idea. Oh, he's on We it. did next year's Halloween episode <laughs> after that. Tonight. <laughs> I believe you. Honestly, you should call Sal and, and Q and be like, this is how you do it. Just like knock him out. Get a room. <laughs> Yeah. Get, Get a sky some blue. I mean, they're, 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 hey, they're, hey, uh, I offered to add 15 more seconds onto that penne gala vodka. Oh, yeah, and you have an extra sauce in there. <laughs> you want some? Uh, uh, look it up. Uh, I got tomato uh, mozzarella up the balls up in here. I don't know. Is that something Italian? <laughs> yeah. Oh, tomato mozzarella. You know what? To, tomato I, and mozzarella? He's going to Google it. Hold is on. it bruschetta? <laughs> there's no bruschetta. Oh, so there's no bread. No, no bread. It's a tomato mozzarella slice. It's a capri salad. Look, take a look. You can see from where you're at. Bruschetta. There's ham and gobble ghoul right there. Oh yeah, ham. That's a great one for me. Are we in the kitchen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you don't want you don't want these tomatoes and cheese? Well, I have ham. Like, oh, yeah. I'll be right over. <laughs> Why don't we hang out anymore? I know, right? <laughs> Are we in the Thank kitchen you. or the living room? Right, right now? now we are in both. the kitchen room. <laughs> <laughs> we're in both. We're in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen. We're in the living room. I don't even know what time. No, this is the kitchen because this is a kitchen table. But let's be honest. Not the dining room table. You almost have me on the porch. Let's be honest. I would kill for this place. In yeah. the city. This oh, is insane. Yeah. Come on, this is like Shangri-La. Imagine. Manhattan. Manhattan. It's, a, Not it's a proper one bed, right? No, no, no. Two. Two, bad. Buddy, two, two bed. Two bed, two bed. But, but Eric, Eric, <laughs> Eric just stepped his game up. Eric just stepped his game up recently. Uh, he's got. Okay. He's down that Billy Burke. Yeah, I got a... I'm actually in Greenpoint. Now he's in Greenpoint. What? Yeah. Bro, BK, you know what? Because yeah, Manhattan is so 2000. Take that G. Do you guys like new buildings? Because <laughs> I got one. I've got heat that blows on you and doesn't just suffocate you. <laughs> it's a real step up. <laughs> Top of the world. He's tough, man. He is tough. Right? It's what is it? Heat? heat? I know. What's the deal with heat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's fucking. That's uh, the kind of magic uh, wow. you get here on PBR, buddy. I know, right? <laughs> I'm sitting there. Then we segued into heat. Next thing we're talking about the sun and like yeah. space and the cosmos. <laughs> we even jumped out the window. It's fine. You wanted to talk about his friend you love for 35 minutes. I had to pull you off the cliff. <laughs> You're fair enough. <laughs> You're big on pulling people off a bit. Of a bit, a conversation. Oh, no, Joe's like it, it, it happened. We can move on. Right? I can, yeah, I, I always find what they call the high point and move on to the next one. Yeah. But if you want to stay and dwell and make it fall back down, to cl- it's up to you. <laughs> Don't look at me do. like I'm Dennis the intern who ruined the whole. No, album. he ruined the whole hour before. So I'm trying to keep that. You're I'm on welcome. the forefront. <laughs> I'm on the forefront of it all. I'm the guy who's known to do the da da da. That's me. The button was that at ESPN? No, no, that was impractical. I will tell you this: when when working on Jokers, when I am very excited, as most people. When we know Joe's going last. Right. He's the closer. <laughs> yeah, because we're tired. It's been a long day, and he's going to go in, and, and it's going to be a button, and it's done. And we're out. Well, he also is the most... I mean, I would argue that Murr has a lot of energy, yeah. but I think Joe is a guy who... He pulls it out. He's a... He's a he can... I mean, not that... Again, not even a shit on Murr at all, but it's just like, Gatto is, is the fucking DH. You yeah, know well, what I mean? He comes, he's just like, oh, he's on the bench. He's been resting. He's the largest. Yes. <laughs> no, no, not anymore. Or Hold on. Let's, well, actually, you're right. Let's roll the tape. <laughs> Got a package of uh, the ups and downs. Yeah, yeah. yeah Sal, is, they can all, everyone, except for Murr. Murr's actually has the best body. And Murr does. Oh, that's yeah. so great. Yeah. We found we found a positive. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> can I, has spoken. Can I, I always want to ask you this. You probably get this question. Do they, does like the, uh, does, does Q, Murr, and Sal, do they want to get back at you for, because like, the tattoos are definitely like yeah, the no. craziest punishment. Yeah, no, I mean, we, like, th- everybody th- accepts it and moves on. Because they don't think like like you on top of the Roosevelt tram. That's crazy, that but that's was, not. Yeah, that was that's that was not, a big one for me. But that's not. That sucked. But like, that sucked. no, I mean, I mean that are they very, planning on something? Like, no, what? we just we we just keep thinking. You got to remember, like we're at season you know seven twenty six yeah. episodes each. There's only so much you could do to each seven other. Seven point. What are we on? We're but at seven point right now. Do you think they'll hit you back with a tattoo? That's no, a, yeah, that's the it's a gentleman's agreement. You can't uh, repeat it on because then you'd be afraid to do anything. Right, because then it's like, oh, you threw me out of plane, I'll throw you out of plane. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. It would take away all the There are rules. There. But we didn't realize that there, there was going to be so many episodes. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You're yeah. season seven. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you started, it's starting when, to get a little I thought you guys crossed the threshold when you uh, when you numbed uh, uh, Murr's face. Yeah. Now I'm like, oh, God, God, they're doing medical stuff. Pretty soon it's going to be like, yeah. now Sal's going to lose a hand. Well, yeah, we found that dentist. <laughs> not only- that dentist was like, yeah, I'll shoot him up with Novocaine. <laughs> like, you're, you're not a good dentist. Thank you. And you know that guy tells his patients, like, oh, you might have seen me at my work. On, uh, I that's not yeah. the guy you want being your dentist. No, that's not the guy you want being your dentist. There was a very weird period I remember where it was like a lot of doctors' office. Like one of my first shoots was the podiatrist office. Yes, and I was like, we're going to all these like clinical places, and I remember being there like not long enough. And the podiatrist, of course, is like, "What are you doing?" And I'm just like, <laughs> in the middle of Jersey, and I'm just like, I don't know. But I was definitely
long story short, I just ended up getting like full orthotics from this guy in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> it was the great, and I'm like, this job has like, before, I, before I went to like a- NBC and like, I was like, oh, I get a, I get a car home. And like, this, I'm like, oh, this is the life. I got free orthotics. My mother, my father, like, you got free orthotics. So just like, you know how much those are. Those are very expensive. Like, that's a big thing. Like, did you have to give me your insurance card? I'm like, no, straight up, man. This motherfucker <laughs> just gave me what I thought. Yeah. Dr. Dan Margot and yeah. respect. <laughs> Jersey, wherever he was. And are they I, in your shoes right now? No, no, I never wear them. But um, <laughs> I just want to get and then feel good if I got something. That's so right. it fills the hole. Yeah. But then I remember, I remember uh, s- someone peeked in. I remember from production. It could have been like Mooney or someone like right. that. Someone Mooney. peeked in and like saw like my feet like in like um, plaster. And they're like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I'm running the show, you fucking idiot. I'm running the fucking show. What do you from think? Get back, out of here. From the closet, getting fit for orthotics. <laughs> Who the man See, putting wet bandages on my feet? Get the idiots. inside scoop. And yeah. because you don't understand this is why you'll never, never run, run the, the show. show. That's right. <laughs> oh, I just really knew how to uh, uh, take advantage of it. God bless. Yeah, yeah. God what, bless. Was the, uh, was the transition... Difficult from a show like uh, uh, you know. Uh, oh yeah, that's two totally want, different beasts. Yeah, oh right. My God, I, 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 it's well. When I walked in there, I was like with my you know being myself and like my hair was long. And I was a professional musician like uh, in L.A. I would alternate between that and running, you know, uh, getting producing gigs and writing gigs. And What'd stuff. you play? Uh, drummer, professional nice. drummer for a long time. Ah, side note: you told me how to play drums right before the Imagine Dragons. How'd concert. that go? Uh, it wasn't uh, bad actually. Wasn't you bad. had you had the look. <laughs> I had the look. We have great. rhythm, man. Uh, yeah, I got rhythm. And I saw but Mac. I had no I had no idea how to play drums at all. And you took me for five minutes. You're like, listen, you're gonna play drums. Look, let me show you something real quick. And you show me like this double tap thing. Knocked and it, it got out. me through totally. You knocked it out. Well, no, you looked legit behind the kit. That's it. Well, I had a good stick. It, One, two, three. The oh, stick hit was great. That's all you gotta do. That's all it was really is. <laughs> Still smashing the raw hides? I'm sorry, one more time. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can just throw shit at him if you want. Smashing the rawhides is just like, it's like, dude, how many how many uh, treats are you giving your dogs? Like, dude, they're smashing the rawhides. And you're like, no, I meant to play drums. And I'm like, wait, my bad? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. Um, I uh, I have a lockout, you know, in Greenpoint. That's why I'm part of the reason I moved to Brooklyn so I can still play once in a while. And, nice. And, um, you know, it takes the skinny fat off. It's strictly for cardio. There's nothing happening anymore in the talent <laughs> department. That, that ship has sailed, my friend. But it was a good run. But anyway, the transition was uh, these guys, like I said, really let me do my thing. And then to go back in there, like, look, late night's great. It's Lauren's world. This is SNL world. And like, they really do let you be yourself. And, um, but it, I was in a corporate environment. Like, like, all right, here's your 401k mm-hmm. and here's yeah. all your things. And here's like your, we had like all these, you know, we have like a lot of time off. Insurance. And no insurance. clue what that is. <laughs> Yo, insurance is crazy, guys. Yeah. You guys should totally get it. It's really fun. <laughs> you have a I, card. I pay for it. It's terrible. But it's all bad. Yeah. My point is it's all bad even here. But like the fact that I get it is great. But it definitely took me a minute. And also I was, uh, I'm much more managerial. And I oversee and like keep the trains running on time more than like steer the creative. Here, like you know, I'm not uh, I'm not a writer here, so it's it's much more overseeing like ad sales and like the segment producers, and I post the show every now like what Gatto does at IJ, you know, things like that that I've I had skill sets before, but I wasn't doing right. at IJ. I was mm-hmm. like really in the writer like running the writers room and those things. So it took a minute, but it's such a it really is a super positive environment. But well, you got you no got complaints. you got a really good uh, a marriage of your I guess of your passions marriage on this what? a marriage of your passions, right? Yes, because right, you brought a whole drum segment. Um, into the into the show where you're yes. rotating drummers, right? Thank you for bringing that. that was that was that your that. was that your idea? Yes, it was, and um, it was kind of Fred Armisen. You know, was the band leader, and mm-hmm. he's a, a guitar. He started off as a guitar player. We had a drummer, and the drummer left, and then Fred took over on drums. And then, meanwhile, Fred's out all the time. He's doing like Portlandia and like doing like mm-hmm. all sorts of like new comedy and crazy successful talented dude. And I'm like, hey, I know all these. I know the best drummers in the world. Yeah, you know, from multiple genres, like through my old endorsers and just through like being around that LA uh, LA scene. And I just know who to get. So they're like, oh yeah, do it. And so with Fred's blessing and, and Seth's blessing, and they've let me do it. And now they really trust me to do it. And every week. I've like I mean I'm meeting like my heroes every week and also like the drum community it's is awesome. super stoked and yeah, that's the really band cool. I is, like seeing on your Instagram like you throw up like it, it's crazy. pictures of people and like you could see how happy you are that you actually got them it's so embarrassing yeah, it is no, like fun. idol it's stuff great. because I love TV and I love comedy yeah. and there it's just like oh you're a drummer and I'm like that's okay because these are all dudes that were like up on my wall yeah um, when I was a kid, like I still am like, yeah, I really got to get Tommy Lee. And then like had a conversation like, yeah, dude, I'm totally going to do it. And, like, you know, it doesn't pan out. And you're like, I'm going to get Tommy Lee one day. And then like, eventually it'll happen. Like, yeah. got to really get Lars this week. And I'm like, this is my job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, they give me a paycheck. Like, <laughs> look, it's hard work and it's, and it's, it's busy and it's a bit of a juggle, but, um, 
super happy that they let me do it and glad that we can do like this very niche, cool. cool niche musical thing that like on network television. You know, oh, it's, yeah. it feels like a coup. It's and now right. there's a rhythm to it, right? Like it happens on a, a what? A, ryth- a rhythm. <laughs> Do you ever, are you ever able hold to on, like, just, hold on, let me keep going. Let him finish that there. Just not, <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> I was off beat. Go ahead. <laughs> are you ever, since, you know, you come from a comedy background, writing yes. background as well, are you, you ever just spitballing with the writers? Like, oh, it might be funny if you did this, or you just kind of step away from that? I don't. You know, it's a, it's a guild show. Like, the lines are clearly defined. Yeah, yeah. That's great. And that's also the sign of, like, the complete a well-run run jokers. Show. Well, <laughs> but that's the beauty. Yeah. I mean, like, these are two very beautiful, sleek animals. Like, jokers used to, like, the way it used to run. I mean, you know, Gatta will tell you. Like, the way it used to run, it used to be every person for themselves, I'm sure. And then there would just be chaos. And then the magic happens. Uh, on screen, to be honest, just like it doesn't happen, mm-hmm. like when they try to do the show with four people who aren't friends from high school, right, right. you know, who are just like thrown together in Sweden. <laughs> there's a reason why the show <laughs> ultimately comes together when the cameras are on, even if there isn't enough like jokes written or like the location's a little flimsy or we're having some problems with the permit or like a costume falling apart. There's a reason why the show is successful and there's a reason why it can't be replicated. And that's something I think the viewers have picked up on, even though they don't realize that. That's what makes the show so special. Mm-hmm. But there's a camaraderie at Seth too, right? With because that world is like all those guys know each other for totally, you know. So you have that behind the scenes, whereas yeah. just it's not absolutely, front, yeah, you know. Well, you know, well, Casey there's a shorthand they talk, you know, especially you got to put a show every night. And oh, it's a, well, and then those guys, you know, Seth came from doing a weekly show, yeah. So he has to put together a weekly show, and I did a million weeklies like with Wanda Sykes or with David Spade, um, even Kathy Griffin show that I ran. Uh, those were all. Weeklies, so you're sitting there all all week trying to think of something and then trying to keep up with the news, which was not at the breakneck pace that it is now. Right, you know now it's insane, but like you're going through that and trying to figure out what to put on the screen, and um, it's a big build up. What do we do? And then you have like one, you have you know one half hour, one hour a week to decide what the funniest and best thing is. You know, whether it's IJ or a daily talker, you got a lot of chances to uh, step up to the plate and take a big swing. And if it doesn't work, you just do the next one. Yeah, you know, and that's 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 the difference in these animals. Like we have a, we, tonight. Look, well, tonight wasn't the greatest show in the world, but tomorrow we get to do another one. That's right. Yeah, and that's the greatest yeah. thing to start from scratch. And I think Seth really appreciated that transition once he started. Um, it's not all eggs, one thing. basket. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean you got to wait six <laughs> days for your next shot. Yes, after yeah, and yeah. then they go to then they have like a, you know the SNL they have like a massive after party and everyone yeah. like you know is out yeah. and parties and like oh what happened? It's like <laughs> this this big buildup. It's like a volcano. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like it's like dating, or I could do a million other analogies that all end with some sexual reference, but I won't because it's 2017, <laughs> and I'm not a fucking monster. That's right. That's right. That's right. But it, it, it's true too. I mean, I could speak to that on a very lower level than NBC, but I did a Daily Show, That's and right. it's like you do the one, and it's like ah, that wasn't as good, and then the next one you could do it all over again. They basically forget about the one yesterday, and they're with you on that. 100. percent That's also really that's a reassuring feel. We didn't get him tonight. Get back in there tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's what's out. Out. that's that's what's great. That's what's great about. Do, are you familiar with Andres Ferrero? Yeah, he's been on the show. Oh, he has? Yeah. From oh. Hamilton? Yeah. I booked him. He's my man. He's great dude, right? Great drummer. A funny a great story job. about him. Uh, I, used to, I taught uh, at, in Red Bank a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got a new music teacher one day. And it's, it's, it's Andres. How long ago? Um, oh, yeah, 2000? Yeah. 2001? No, nah, maybe a little Post bit. Post Y2K. Yeah. Remember that? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. So, so uh, <laughs> we're in this. Wow, this, Y2K. Yeah. We're still waiting for the trigger to pull on that one. Yeah, yeah. it's going to happen. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, there's enough things that are going against us right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we know, Y2K is still a yeah. uh, bottom of the barrel problem. Oh, no. My calendar is going to reset. <laughs> my, my hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Every, everything I know and love. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone like waited for the lights to just go off. Nothing happened. Nothing. Happened. I was drunk. Go he, ahead. He, uh, so he, he played in a band. He, Chris Ippolito, a friend, a friend of ours from Ampere Productions. Yes, of course. Uh, he, he played in a band uh, called Chapter 5. Pat, and we, his, I think they referred to him as Pat. That might be his middle name. So Andres played drums for them. He was a beast. He's a dr- he, I got it, Stella. On a kid. Thank you very much. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this pain, yes. this got the, he, he got the Stella, Stella. So he gets hired to teach music okay. at this school. And he's there for one day. And we're, we're in the basement of this dungeon talking. And he's like, man, I don't know if I could do this. I was like, bro, I don't think you should do this either. Because I knew he was a good drummer. And I knew he wasn't, his heart wasn't in this. He wasn't going to be a music school teacher. To What were you doing? Were you a teacher? I was. I was teaching at the time. What were you teaching? Uh, at that time, uh, probably fourth grade. 
That's hot. Yeah. Off That's the hot. <laughs> so That's the sexiest thing. I I've remember, ever. like, I feel <laughs> like I talked him out of. Mm-hmm. I, I like. I talked him off a ledge, but I, I was agreeing with him. A He's like, job. I can't do this. I was like, bro, you can't do this. Like, you should leave. And he never came back. And then I lost one contact. Day? One you, day. You told him to get out of here. Yeah. I would like definitely, man. I wish you know. <laughs> what like, was the vibe that that basically? It, he, because he was, you leave. know him, right? And you, you know how talented he is, Thank right? You. So take that ball of energy and talent and then put it's it into so a positive. basement of a church with a bunch of <laughs> kindergartners. Were you a PS negative one? Yeah, <laughs> man. It was, a, it, was a charter, it was a charter school in the basement of a, of a church. Oh, okay. We're, we're all going to be fine. This, yeah, it'll be so, fine. And I could see that he was such, he was so broken being there. So you're you're basically saying that I'm responsible for him winning, winning an it, Emmy yeah. Grammy. That's, that's all I wanted. That's Highly great. Highly award winning. No, no. But so you're just looking for a thank you phone call. That's it. I talked to him today, actually. I was actually trying. It, you know, I was full disclosure. I was looking. I was researching you. Yeah, yeah. And I saw the whole drummer thing. Gross. And I was like, I got to call Andre, Andres and see if he if he can make it tonight. Pop in. Yeah. yeah. But he's, he's in Hamilton. He actually, Andres he's hurt. so supportive. Oh, yeah. he's hurt? What he, do you mean? He hurt his hand. He's, so he's not playing right now? Not right now. You said he was in Hamilton, or he's, he is. In, he's the, he's drum, the drummer. Oh, in Hamilton. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, he's always there. It's quite a crazy like a story, though. Like, question, how, how he could have taken that job. <laughs> <laughs> he could have taken that job, man. He could be a kindergarten teacher right now. I mean, he's Hamilton, like, what is that? He's is that like world movie? renowned. So, you, so you thought like he would have like taught for fourteen years and then bailed for Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool, though. Yeah, really a, a super positive guy. Yeah, when you get guys that come in and do this gig, they're they're just there for a week. And they get that they're featured like I plug whatever like you know they're pushing the Hamilton soundtrack or like this tour they're going on, you know the drummer. You don't need to be a musician to know like the drummer is the guy in the back who's like look at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like and I, I always like being a drummer because like I was always tall and stuck out and this way I, I could sit and then I could just kind of hide but I'll so hold lazy. it down. <laughs> That's, a, that's another podcast. I like to sit. That's why I became a I like drummer. To sit. My spine is weak. Oh, the lead vocalist. He's got to be up there and singing and the guitar guy. Who am Where I? Where can I sit? Ah. It's like the idea David of like Lee being Roth doing there. splits. I don't think You're so. You're going to either be Yanni or a drummer. <laughs> Yanni, remember have, that? Have you approached um, Neil Pert? I can never pronounce his name. That's said he by, retired, said right? Said by a guy behind me who knows one drummer. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's, that's right. the drummer I know. Yeah, there he that's is. That's fine. Neil would be amazing to have. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think he's playing right now. I think Rush is on a bit of a hiatus. I don't know what's going what on. What about the Def Leppard, drum, Def Leppard drummer? I, I have tried so fucking hard to get Rick Allen for real because the only reason it's not an option is because he has to bring in that special kit that's made for a guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah. right. Because we all, all know. foot pedals, right? It's all feed. It's all electronics. It weighs like two tons. I've gone deep with this already. Really? The publicist. I talked to like the crew. They need like three or four guys to travel wow. to bring the kit in to like that. We had to put them up. It's a whole cost. Thing. Is that the get and then strike? Is that the get? That's got to be. That's the production get. Okay. That's like the how do we do this? Yeah, figure yeah, it out yeah, yeah. get. And then I I have to like put like Rick Allen on stage with a bunch of like indie rock dudes yeah. and I have to strike the whole kit it's just like a wooden frame I don't know if a huge piece of like metal and electronics is going to fit I don't even know if it would support it mm. but oh my god do I want it to happen <laughs> I saw you know, Def Leppard 1987 in your round in your, fa- in your round in your face I was there a stereo yeah. tour that like changed my life and then to have him there to, oh. that, you're right I mean that would be you really you, you went a little you know lowbrow with Neil Peart not, not, <laughs> not that he's not an amazing drummer I, I, and one really, of the I best got, I got a I got, I got your no, Peter you Chris went, no, uh, all right just give me a second you went, you went with <laughs> you, you, went, you, you went, also went, have your uh, iPhone in your pocket that you're googling all this the internet's right there <laughs> yeah but he's like doing top 40 rock and roll drummers that's true I don't, I don't go what about the Rush drummer you went well yeah, <laughs> pay attention to because yeah. we were just talking about it. Like, I'm gonna re- hold on. I'm gonna rewind the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Neil. And Park. the heat's off. Then. Oh, and and pass the bug. Well, guys, thanks for having me. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. No, no worries. So how's it? How is it to work on Fallon? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That's the next question. Oh, I love it. Uh, you want to get into your shit? What happened? You reboot? Uh, I'm rebooting, man. This this thing's just not working get for me. Are, up, are you what trying are you to like give me like honky <laughs> honky? <laughs> not not really. Just some bed music, you know. Yeah. <laughs> are we? Do we take a break? What happened? There's no breaks. No, no. We're, I, we're breaking right now, oh, really? uh, but you don't. You know. I just didn't know it. You don't know it. Yeah. I already. I went. I urinated before, so I'm fine. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. Checking all the stellas. I'm gonna get three in me and get my money's worth. There you go. What a night. Woo! Oh, look at these city views. You got a car home. What do you care? Do it. Do take one to go. That's so not necessary, by the way. Thank you for that. Of course, we love Thank that. You. Love well, it's like after eight, right? You get a car. Um, I don't <laughs> talk about my transportation home from NBC, <laughs> but uh, I will. I will say that uh, I was very generous of, of Joe to uh, 
to provide me the car tonight. I hope I get a fabulous driver. I'm looking forward to some real riveting conversation. <laughs> You got all the way to Greenpoint, baby. We got to get you home. Dude, Greenpoint. I got to go get him, man. I'm so sorry. No, I, way. it won't work. It's like how will it not? Work? It worked earlier. It's not working now. It doesn't matter though. We have our guests here. We're going to do what we do. This is great, right? I mean, it's like whatever. Can't look- you put this just a music in post? I can, but I, I feel like I need it. Just anymore. Let me do my thing. Just it. plug it into your phone. Why do you want to do I have the new stupid yeah. phone. Oh, with oh. the stupid you thing. You need the dongle. I, you got the dongle. I, Give me that dongle. I, yeah. Damn. I got a dongle. Oh, I fought it. All right, so you. On the show, we play a little game called Top or Bottom. Uh, I'm going to read you two. T- <laughs> oh, that's what's happening. Yeah. Music hear the music. Oh, as a matter of fact, interesting fact. Yes. This song right now, Soup Du Jour, the drummer, Andres. Really? Yeah, man. Did you plan this? No, no I didn't. I just realized that right now. Musical bed. That's yeah. great. And, and as a matter of fact. I love that you know him. That's a great connection. I was just going to say. We, He's a good you, one. Did you work on the music video for Chris's video? Back no, no. I skipped that one. I didn't want to do that. Because then you would have met him. Yeah. Anyway, so nice. Well, so uh, I hope that, I hope he's okay. I'm gonna check in with him now. That was an accident. I don't know how bad it was, but well, anytime a drummer injures, uh, you know, uh, an arm or a hand is a problem. <laughs> That's just. Me. I think it was like a just carpal tunnel thing. I don't think it was a Def Leppard kind of thing. <laughs> Are you sure? Is it a problem? I, mean? I feel drummer, so bad. Is it a problem when a drummer hurts his hand? Well, here's the yeah, thing. Is it like when Usain Bolt like sprains his ankle? Yeah. Again, you're jumping <laughs> a lot of conclusions. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting your research from? IMDb. Is that better? How about Neil Peart? <laughs> so good. What, band was, what band was he in? Anyway. That's so great. All right, top or bottom? So I'm going to give you two terms. Um, if these two things were in a relationship, which one would be on the top? Which one would be on the bottom? Uh, it's all about the revolution of our guests, which is you, so they're tailored to you, but we'll roundtable them. Yes. We're not going to let Dennis chime in because he's annoying. <laughs> top or bottom number I'm one? I'm not Dennis. That's not oh, the, Dennis that's the intern. Yeah. <laughs> that's Darren. I was like, People often mistake the two. Derek, it's like that, you looked at him. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pointed to me when yeah, you said that. Beer in a shot or a nice glass of wine? Oh. Okay, so I have to beer and a shot or not. Oh, so okay. Yeah, it started easy. I'll just try to figure you out a little bit. Beer and a shot. Yeah. yeah. You're a beer and a shot guy. Beer and a shot. Yeah. yeah. To night, start off the night. Yep. Then I'll back away from that. But yeah, I'll do like, I will, now that I'm like out and about. Wink, 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 Follow me. Instagram. IMDb. So many followers. I, um. These are the new Nikes. Yeah. Did you see I got them? <laughs> oh, fucking a sad life. I um, I, uh, yeah, beer in a shot because you got to start off. I think you start off a little hot, and then that reminds your body that it's time to drink. The every every <laughs> shot, too, has a specific beer that has to be done with it if yeah. you're going to go that route, right? But you can't just... Do the smart thing in New York bars. Everything's so expensive. They always have these things on where it's like a Miller High Life and like a well whiskey. Mm-hmm. Like it's smooth and easy drink, easy drink and stuff. Like mm-hmm. do two rounds of that and then pull it back and give yourself a good foundation. It's like a house. You're not going to build it on sand. That's right. <laughs> Am I right? You're right. <laughs> Am I right? That's right. <laughs> I hope we all that, learn something tonight. They do that at Bond Street with like a PBR and, a, and some sort of Absolutely. whiskey. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. A well whiskey is fine with a PBR. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for coming <laughs> out. Yeah, God bless. Uh, uh, are there more questions? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm waiting fun. for Derek to answer. Oh, there's. Well, why? Who cares? You, guys, you know what? How many times these guys answer these questions? <laughs> I've never well, answered this one. It's always different. This is always oh, it's different. always, you know. Okay, different. hold on. Let me get my listening mode. Go on. <laughs> I'm Derek, not Dennis. Hi. Hi. <laughs> no, no, but um, I uh, I only really drink wine like when I go on like a date or something. Which is never. That's not true. Oh. Uh, but, so I think I'd start drinking beers and then I'll like do a shot. I don't like get the beer with like that is the JMO next to it. But see, that, that's exactly how you're not supposed to do I it. know, but I got to go beer and shot because that's the closest thing to it that I would do. So beer, 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 then a shot? Mm. Yeah, like a couple beers Mm-mm. and a shot. Mm-mm. That's how you get, that's that's how how you get, get arrested on your birthday. I've never Belmar, gotten arrested on my birthday. For fighting a cop. <laughs> that was, why you, we, know, we know saying. someone that happened to it. <laughs> you, were, you were there. <laughs> you were, uh, I was there and witnessed it. Yeah, that's horrible. Six strangers. There was three of us. I didn't get arrested for that. I do beer and a shot. No, you don't. Ginger beer and a shot of fun. Of hey, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go glass of wine. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are a good short. At this point in my life, right? Short, short, short. I went to Long Island in February and did a bunch of wine tours. That was fun, though. Yeah. Did you blog about it? Yeah, I blogged about it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure he did. Blogging's I mean, back, dude. He never, he never did. Big way. I think I just Snapchat a bunch. Yeah, yeah. that's the new blog. Insta stored. No, like Snapchat's done too. Yeah, I'm more. Well, move some fast. Snapchat is well, maybe. Uh, top or bottom number two: a mud or a purebred? Oh, purebred, without question. Really, you son of a bitch! I, you guys with your fucking rescues. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone who's listening. Hey, everyone who's like adopt a dog. It's like adopt on shop. I got news for you. There, people are always going to breed dogs. Those dogs are alive. People are never going to stop breeding dogs. That's how dogs have evolved through actual like. Breeding through yeah. people thinking about breeding dogs. 
It's never going to stop. You can love a mutt just as much as a purebred. I'm not denying that there's a problem with mutts and, and, and dogs and kennels and pounds in general, but I'm just saying there is nothing better. I am a long-term miniature schnauzer connoisseur. Connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> LTE. Absolutely. And my breeder, my breeder uh, uh, in Green Lane, Pennsylvania. You got a guy? I have He's a got woman. It. I have an 85 year old woman. You got an 85 year old woman. Schnauzer queen of the Eastern Seaboard. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a t shirt waiting to happen. <laughs> the I, Schnauzer queen of the Eastern queen. Seaboard. Believe me, I have more sh- I, I've been given more Schnauzer <laughs> gifts in my life. Everyone's like, yo, I got you Schnauzer socks. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> Just throw them in the pile and then burn it with the rest of <laughs> everything else. Originality. But yeah, honestly, like, man, purebred forever. I'll, and I had mutts in college and whatnot, but like, I grew up, my grandfather, miniature Schnauzers all the way. It's also you, nostalgic you, you, for you then. Yeah, but you can't look at two human. You can't look at two babies. One who was born to a couple who was in love, a married couple, non-married couple who was in love, versus someone who didn't want the kid. A kid is a kid is a kid is a dog is a dog is a dog. Uh, I look at them differently. I differ, you're, you're talking yeah, about because you're like, a normal human being. I get it. <laughs> I'm very partial. This is weird. I get it. I think that with those two babies, one would have to be like created by like like a Hitler youth. Like, a, like the perfect like Michael. That wow, made, that made no, a left. That, that took a turn. <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is like he put a wall. or or I could have said a, a, a slave in America. Yeah. They put you know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah. the the Ger- Nazi Germans put two people together to get the perfect person. Perfect baby. As so did but the slave owners. That person. That's like breeding ent- a dog. That that entity is a sentient being. They're alive at that point. They didn't choose. That dog didn't choose to be a purebred. That baby didn't choose like who its parents were or why. They're alive. So alive is alive is alive is but, my attitude. And love is love is love. Yeah. Unless we want to start banning like yeah, you but know, that's purebred. you, you, you made the jump right away from mutt, mutt to rescue. Like oh, mutt, this is my podcast. Say, okay, this you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm a guest here in this hotel room. There's a fridge. There's food. There's like uh, some cookies and some ham. You got it. <laughs> Let me live my life, <laughs> buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Live it, live it away. There's a capri salad in the fridge. I love being a guest. This is great. We love having you. So glad you came by. Ninety-seven. Not in the Fox. We'll be right back. <laughs> Got downtown traffic all the way out to the loop and back. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. I understand the, the the purebred argument. I mean, if you would you would you want a purebred and you like that dog, like I get what he's saying. Like it's it's still alive. It's a being. It didn't choose to be there. But growing up, I always had uh, rescues. So I would say uh, mud on top. There's no. You you guys are right about this. I know. I'll just be honest. <laughs> well, you could have a purebred rescue, guys. Like there's purebreds that have to be. Rescued. No, no. Oh, very yeah. in a mud. Uh, I see what you're saying. I tried that for a, a while. Mutt, uh, a mutt, a mutt is just two dogs that aren't the same breed. A purebred <laughs> is two dogs that are the same breed. That's what it is. If I'm going it, if I'm going head to head, and I'm saying I would definitely go mutt because I've always had mutts. But all your dogs are purebreds. You have like 17 dogs, and now. they're all mutts. They're, yeah. uh, they're all mutts. They're all rescues. They're, they're all little dudes. They're all yeah, they're girls. All, besides you know one, one of the one that started us off, cannoli. Cannoli was the one we bought, and then we understood what happened. Mm-hmm. But she's not even purebred. She's uh, she's she's a bred. Yeah, we know what the problem with all those dogs are. They're yeah. all a trouble. They all smoke cigarettes. They're all bad. <laughs> That's right. It's a big house. Do you even know, how, do you even know how many dogs I have right now? Do you know how many dogs I have right now? I just don't want to. Isn't there five or six? This, yes. is, this is a separate podcast, right? It's five. For real. Five it's dogs. Five and uh, two children? Yes. Mm-hmm. Cannoli, biscotti, tartufo. Oh, Zeppelin, Tartufo, that's one Spumoni. I always forget. Yeah. Tartufo. Spumoni. Spumoni. Rolls right off. And, 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 and you lost and, and, one. And I lost one. Mishkeen. What do you mean you lost one? Dead. Who did it? <laughs> the, the, uh, the other Jesus. four dogs. That, the other <laughs> four dogs. Shit got real. She no, was no. a purebred. No, that, they was, like that, that was an elderly one. We got 13. The 13 year old. The one with the, the tongue hanging out. How long did you? Who Seven had, months. Whose dog was that? Oh, and it was a rescue? It was a rescue. Yeah, oh, we got old such a good It was person. old rescue. But then like, we, now we got an oldie with a one eye, Zeppoli. Nine year old, one eye. He's going to last longer, though. Let's see more grams with the, with the one who, who's uh, beat up. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, here's this one, this one, and then the one with the one with no eye. Well, I know. The, the one with the no eye is a little bit out of like the, the background. background. Look at it, to be honest, he's in the back sometimes. Put the cute white dogs up front. <laughs> yeah, cuddle time. It's like, <laughs> where's the one? It's like oh, under the bed, like yeah. the blanket over its head. Like, <laughs> oh. Trying to suffocate itself. All right, well, again, all these points are valid. No, but what? I say I just say, Mark, because I've always had mutts, and mm. I, I, I like I like the... Um, how they don't look like they look like their own thing. Yeah, it's a unique. I mean, yeah. It is a childhood thing. My grandfather brought home like eight miniature schnauzers. I forget that's it. To yeah. my yeah. fans, so just to used my, to, Yeah, it's like a good it. thing. I feel yeah. like um, now when I'm a you look. What you have growing up when you had that? What was that Mutts, dog always yeah. mutts. Yeah. What was that dog you had that I hated? I really feel oh, it was like taffy. Taffy bitter. Yeah, which what you should love because it was like the a sister. Yeah. There was a sister. Oh, midnight. Sister of midnight. Our last dog was it was named Wyatt. He was husky and a key to mix. He had a blue eye and one eye was blue and brown. I like that. That's a real manly dog. He was cool. That's a a dog who can keep a secret. Yeah. I, I took. A- <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't say what. He doesn't yeah. say what that body is. That is a dog who just is loyal to death. He was oh. the uh, lovely and talented Pam and I went uh, to the shelter the other day to is that your uh, wife. Oh, yeah, you almost came back one. 
Yeah, we went. Oh, to really? Get Buster Brown. I don't think Hank would be happy. Oh, uh, that. that we wanted. See, we're 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 having our first child in April, so we were like, everybody keeps saying, you know, you're, uh, that poor dog, the poor dog. You're gonna stop paying attention to the dog. It's the lady in the tramp theory. Yeah, you know what I mean. I want chop suey. You know, lady's like, what? Yeah, like, <laughs> you're, you're gonna eat spaghetti and kiss. I get it. So we were thinking about That's maybe it. getting <laughs> Hank a friend. You know, yeah. uh, so we went to the pound. We saw this dog, Buster Brown, um, three year old mutt. And uh, I, you know, my wife's halfway there in the pregnancy, so you know she's kind of emotional at times. I turned around as we're walking through the kennel. She has her hands up on the cage and she's bawling. <laughs> just <No! hear> the, <laughs> she's just oh, she's full on crying, and I hear like the song from that commercial in the background, "Arms of the Angels," like playing. Yeah. Arms yeah. You know? of the uh, and it was a really Sarah, sad moment. You want to adopt Sarah. every one of those dogs, and I guess I got to say, Mutt, for the purpose of those dogs, are in prison, and the purebreds are only being bred because people are willing to buy them. You're a hundred percent right. It is. It is all bait, but everything, like everything else, all your behaviors. I mean, I don't want to get off right here, but like it all goes back to what happened in your childhood. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I plan on yeah, getting a kid from a dog. prison. So, I, oh, that's good. That's again. I'm saying yeah. a, a, a purebred. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've seen a, a cute purebred that yeah. I love. Like you watch those dog shows. Every some those, everyone. Some of those I get mad. It's so great. Some they make some pretty dogs. Oh, purebred. So gorgeous. I, I'm every year. I remember the first year I was at Seth in February. I, I talked to the talent department. I'm like, does anyone know anyone at Westminster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I like, I'm like, I'm going to use my producing like NBC power. And every year since 2014, <laughs> I go backstage at Westminster. I go out to the Schnauzer person, and I watch as they're getting groomed and fluffed. And meanwhile, the dogs there, like, like you know, um, a housewife is you know, like on Percocet, <laughs> and just like you know, it's like it's Sharon Stone in Casino. Like, that's hey, right. Just rocking back <laughs> yeah. and forth. Yeah. We're gonna do I, this. Yeah. <laughs> we can do this now. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I love you too. Bye. Yeah. And I go back and I look at all these these purebred dogs, and it really is it's a, it's a whole different thing. And that that's the part that I'm fascinated by. But also, it's like these dogs, like yeah, it's a living. Yeah, you know, it's what I do, and it's very um, it's very weird. Yes, man, it's so great. I can't wait to go back. 2018. 2018. Can I come? I, I you got a plus, plus one. one. <laughs> you got a plus one. I'm in. Damn, you're a plus one grabber. Are you trying to like? I'm trying to dummy. all the cool things. You actually should do that. You would love it. I would love it. Fun. Could you really Best get me in? Or no? Yeah. Could you really get me? Oh, if you want to go with me and like really be in, I'm in. That'd be great. I'd love. I, I would love a like backstage at a show. I would love a day date with you. That'd be great. It's a night date because best. I go best in show night and the terror group night. Uh, uh, do you try to get one of the I'll dogs get the on I'll the do show? Best in show night. I can't. We do did. Two. I did. I already did that. Oh. So we had. You got to work that into your show where your dogs. Yeah. Is <laughs> you that's a good idea. We have. We have. We have. We have a punishment that is. I my dogs. One of my dogs get entered in the in the Westminster. Do you have a Do you have a contact? No, I don't. Yeah, I want to be great. Done. Oh, uh, look at that. See how networking happens. Yeah, done. It's did that me. other thing ever? Uh, this is, I know we're on. Did it, did it ever work out? No. Really? No, it didn't. Is that on him? On him. I've done so much for them. I will follow that up. Okay. Yeah, that's annoying. I've done more requests for them. Is this, are we still uh, on the podcast? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike, <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. we're sidebar. I'll, yeah. I'll talk to you right <laughs> after this, but we're supposed to do it actually this month and he was unavailable because he's in Miami. Unacceptable. Yeah. I, I, I'll goose it. Great. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk to I mean, myself. Do you want you me it? to call? I'll talk to it, myself. I get my intern on it. Dennis, do you want to make the phone call? To the person that I don't know? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> to do something I don't understand? Even better. <laughs> so uh, good. He gets his hair cut by uh, Tito, Tito, uh, Tito Santana. Santana. Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Again, I'm just a guest. So, uh, okay. Top or bottom number three? Yes. I want to give you the three. option here because uh, I wrote Sheila E. or Neil Pert first because I figured everybody knew who Neil Pert was. But now Neil Pert's been embarrassed <laughs> on the show. <laughs> no, he's the Neil drummer Pert. for Rush. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Nailed it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I want to. Now, now he's got it. He's yeah, a he's modern day warrior. Can I throw a, a, sec, a different drummer in there yes. with Sheila E? Because it might even fit better. Absolutely. Tito Puentes? Oh, yeah. okay. Tito Puente. That's there's, a better no S. top of. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, at least I knew Neil Pert was for Rush. I left all that. My friend, you He's got the short friend. Now we got it in the podcast. That's full circle right there. Friend, you know I think because someone said Neil Pert, and then I, I didn't. I married it in my head without knowing exactly. Listen, listen you have friends here. We support you. <laughs> <laughs> whatever happens, happens. I know I'm the new guy. Uh, I know uh, you know you don't know me, but like whatever you do. I want to know you. We're here. Yeah, it's I'm not here. great. <laughs> it's a bit of a drag. Do you want to try again, Sheila Ear or uh, Tito Puente? So we really you're going to stick it to you. Well, I can no. Listen, we can plug anybody in. Well, no, I think that they're two very different drummers. I mean, I would go with Sheely. Aren't, don't they both play, or, or wouldn't they be Sheely, considered You're thinking about timbales. Well, you're thinking about timbales because yeah, Tito up. Puente is a, a, a very famous timbalist, but also a percussionist in, in general, yeah. Latin percussionist. But uh, I will say that um, Sheila E., growing up, I mean, remember like the You Got the Look video? Yes. And, and mm -hmm. all, How like, about Crush Groove, Sheila E.? 
Yeah, I'm in all of it. And also, like, as a solo performer, mm -hmm. she's wonderful. And she still plays, like, that same fire. I saw her doing something, like, a year ago. And she's still got that same zest. And to see people go up there, like... How old is she now? That's none of our business. <laughs> but I will tell you that <laughs> when, when you go up there and you see, um, when you see people play an instrument or do their whatever their art is up yeah. there... You know, uh, you know, Q will get up there and even like he'll crush it. He look, he's having the time of his life up there. People can turn it on. Choose a drummer. This is so great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can seamlessly go back and forth between <laughs> so many stupid worlds. I apologize. I'm thinking about Q on IJ. Yeah, because Q's my boy. Then when a the camera comes on, he lights it up. Yeah, because yeah. and that that's the mark of a true professional. They get on stage, they go and they and they kill it. And they know it's turn. game time. Yep. Whatever it's a turn in IJ or it's like you get on stage and you have to be a musician. Sheely is one of the best performers you'll see of any 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 kind of uh, instrument or any kind of art form. Really I'm, good to go out there. Some Tito Puente also. I mean, that's actually a good comparison because he's a very vibrant performer. Who's her father? Um, he's I a, should is, he's know a percussionist, that. right? Yes, I've seen her perform with her father. I forget what his name is, and I apologize to all the drumming fans who are listening to this just for me. Yeah, that's right. My right. drumming connection. On December 12th, oh, shit. Sheila E will turn 60 we'll have, years old. We'll have. We'll have necessary. turned then. 60? 60 years old. I bet she still looks good for 60. Did you just this Google Sheila E? Because you have no idea, Derek, who she is. I bet no, she, I saw her How once. about this, Mike? I bet she's still a good drummer yeah, at why 60. Yeah, it's about 2017. Know, Jesus. Wait, why can't I say she's good looking? Is that wrong? Yeah, Michael, it is. It's so wrong. You Michael, need to really read something. Oh, she's a smoke. She's <laughs> Dude, I when yeah, I, I saw Crush Groove for the first time, right. Google Groove it, everybody. Boing. Uh, yeah, man. I was like blown away by Sheila E. Her and Curtis Blow. To me, they had a thing going on. I really don't. I don't know. Are you guys all lost on my nice. reference? No. no, we're not. I just like oh. you got the look. Video was like she's to see that's way after. Yeah, to, to see a drummer though come out up front, mm -hmm. and then also like the idea that Prince and her had this chemistry thing, and then Prince was like, "Cool, come out," yeah. and he like was secure enough to bring out a woman. How ahead of his time was Prince, man? Prince, is rest great. in peace, dude. That guy's amazing. Wait, he Prince was like, is that? He could play. Well, here's anything. the thing. <laughs> It's still TBD. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to me. That guy well, was amazing. I, I don't. I don't think her father is anyone of note, but she is related in a way to Tito Puente. Her uncle so. is Alejandro Escovado's. Is her uncle, and that is Tito you're Puente's getting godfather. Okay. Well, no, you heard it here really first. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. You're on your Wikipedia. Yeah. I'm on yeah. Google. I'm also, yeah, I'm also cousins with George Clooney then. <laughs> it's like What's the over here? Three, three, <laughs> three times <laughs> over. Uh, you too. You're related by rumor. Oh, is it my yes, turn? Right. I thought we all answered. Oh, I didn't. God. <laughs> I don't know drama. I'm going to go Max Weinberg on top. Yeah. And uh, what was that? Yeah. What just him? Who is it? I think we're wrapped on the question. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Yeah. I think it's over. I have fun on it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Again, you take See, care now, the now you're getting it. It's about time. Whatever Eric <laughs> said, <laughs> top. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Um, Am I supposed so to say top or bottom? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, you, Do you want to say this is, We're just on your podcast. You're the guest. Yeah, you're, so it's all about you, man. Yeah, yeah, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, that's right. It's truth. <laughs> Hashtag sure. truth. Uh, so this last one I put in here, uh, I, I think I may, may be balked on it. So it should be like... Um, I want to apologize. I've been eating the whole time. I don't think it should be phrased that way. It should be phrased more yeah, uh, show running. Be, yeah, it should be uh, being a... Uh, well, you want to be... No, because he, he writes, too. All right, so write, writer's room or producing detail? Producing detail is like the army. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Lederman reports in producing detail. It's like me and like a million other Jews in a room. It's like, here we go. Time to produce. Like, but do you miss the writing, I guess? Like, is it writing? Do I miss or, it? Well, hey, I mean, in like, your world, what do you like? Well, even like ma managing creative. I mean, I remember um, I got such a thrill out of being in the writer's room again, but then also I lean towards... I lean towards producing. I mean, if someone asks me if I'm a writer, but I am a producer. Right. Absolutely. Like one or the other. And guiding the creative and guiding the writing, I really, really enjoy. And tweaking and making revisions. Someone's hand, someone gives me a, an idea, and I know I can make it better. I'm very confident about that. Yeah. Someone locks me in a room and is like, even like for me coming up with, um, uh, when I had to come up with, uh, with um, challenges and punishments and whatnot, like I come up with stuff here and there. I, I got more, so, in, I got so, you know, there's enough to do, like just keeping everything on the tracks right. in the other production departments. But to this day, like it's about the the subtleties, and I think making something good, great, is the thing I really get off on the most. Like, okay. that, so that's the best thing. I really finding, and I think the best uh, producers and and showrunners, whatever you want to call them, um, know how to manage that talent and get the get the best out of that talent. And I and I hope that I can uh, be as good as uh, one day as the people that I've you know been lucky enough to work on her. So you like the writers would come up with ideas, you'd you'd go over them and then you'd pick one and then you'd kind of kind of like tweak it. Well, yeah, yeah. At, at IJ, yeah, for sure. I mean, I came up with a couple of things that we did, but ultimately I saw I'm like, 
the, I also, you want to empower your writers too. Sure. So, and I think a lot of head writers and a lot of people who will not be named who worked on IJ before because it was such a different show when it first came out at the time, they really want to put their mark on it. And again, that's the thing. Like you are not there as a showrunner to be like, it's not about you yeah. first. It's about the town and it's about the voice of the show and, and the voice of your talent. And I think some people get that twisted. And mm -hmm. I think that's because you get real enamored with like seeing your stuff on television. And like yeah. for me, that's that's never what it's been about. It's like I remember there was the the garbage barge one is the one I pitched like yep. early on because I'm like, OK, I'm going to pitch. And we punish Sal by putting him in the garbage barge. I will never forgive you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. You'll, you'll forget them. You'll forget them. You like the show. You like your life. Just, That's it. You know, you have, you have a contractual. You have, have to forgive us. That. We have twenty six more episodes. There's points. That's in the intro, right? That's the yeah. yeah. There's twenty five <laughs> half seasons left. You have to. <laughs> um, but there was a real. For the joy was for me. I was all being like, everyone's like, Lederman, it's your bit. It's your bit. I'm like, I don't, give a like, I don't need that credit. That's not what I need. What I need is for the show to be a success and the guys to revel in it. So then, like, they're the guys who walk. I don't want to walk through a mall and not have my privacy or like be. Uh, uh, the, the praise of strangers. God bless. I get it. It's it's an interesting thing, but like for me, it's just about like my job. What I'm hired to do is to make this this person is better, to make this person better who was brought on because of their talent, yeah. and that's the sign of a good um, producer, I think. And they check their ego and they check whatever it is, and then they go home and they do like well, I'll play drums or like you know whatever it is I do, and uh, there's nothing great. It's <laughs> all a bit of a nightmare. But um, that's 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 kind of how I view it. And your question is a good one because you're being too hard on yourself. It's just a bad dream at this point. It is. Uh, <laughs> thanks everyone. Thanks for coming out. We got one more for you. <laughs> and uh, that's it. But yeah, it's it's a good question because uh, there are some times that I'm like, oh, like when we do a bit at the show, like I think like oh, I could have done that, but like. I don't know that I could have. I just, like, these are the guys that are doing it. And uh, for the most part, these are, all these things that happen, like, are great. You know what I mean? And sometimes things aren't great. It's, yeah. Especially when you're trying to hit it out of the park daily. It's hard. Comedy's hard. Everyone will tell you. And uh, <laughs> it also takes a bit of the pressure off to not have to be a person who's like, oh, what are your ideas today? Yeah. You know, the guys churning out monologue jokes. Or, like, when we used to, like, you know, be in the writer's rooms, like, we need to, I used to be like, I used to rail them. I'm like, we need 10 punishments today. Yeah. And I'd be like, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. And this one's like, this one's like, I'm going to take a nap. And this one's like, I'm going to play guitar. <laughs> Got, you know, I, I know who's playing guitar. <laughs> I know who's napping. <laughs> guys are the best. But, like, I, uh, but, you know, it's like, it is pressure. And that's why writers always procrastinate because it's a lot of pressure to come up with something in that like couple of hours of the day or there's like a deadline like hey we need to start shooting like Gatto's like hey we gotta fill these episodes I mean don't your ideas as a writer don't come at the oddest moments when you should just write them down and depends that, who you right? are like, I think it depends who you are so, honestly some, some, some writers can just sit down and be like oh I have to write now like Casey who's on our show like Casey when he has to Casey, do when it, he has to do it, it fucking kills it but when he's just sitting there like sometimes especially in the beginning more net, not as much now but like in the very beginning when he would just sit down he would come back to you and he would be nine out of his ten things were home runs when he was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to go in that room and sit and do it. And not get out and not be distracted. Yeah. And some people can just sit around and like fart around all day and sit in bed and then like something hits them like that eureka moment. Yeah. There is no rhyme or reason to any of this and you could come up with the best idea. A lot of people are like, oh, when you're young, you like take more chances. I don't think that's true. I, I, think, don't, I, I, think I couldn't disagree with that more. Exactly. I'm 41 years old. Are you 41 too? I, yeah, I'm 41. That's it. We were all with the high school. Oh, you guys did? Yeah, and then there was there was three more there was of three, you. No, there was only three. There's four of us total. Oh, yeah, in the group? <laughs> in the group. And yeah. then the three of you yeah. and you yeah. got together. You yeah. pitched a show, show, and now you're on television. Right, but it was after a lot of failure. But then we just Oh, so much mazel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good things. Can you say that again to him? So much what? So. Oh, no. So much what? So much what? Before we were successful. Jewish stuff. So much failure. Oh, so much failure. Yeah. I have all, I have tons of that. I know. <laughs> But I just wanted him to reinforce that. What a so failure! I, I am fully reinforced. The fact that you are a complete failure is could be a good thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't quit. Well, I keep going. Right? We're, we're really creating like a stern vibe in here. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, no, I, I understand that failure. as as much as a, no, anyone in this business. Trust me. <laughs> is this you've all, but at, at this right point now? in your life, you've already had my, way more success than most. Yeah, okay. that's, that's true too. I'm, I'm I'm fortunate and happy about it, but I you know I know you'd never, like some more. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm constantly, you know, trying to, you know. Uh, it's all about the hustle. It, yeah, it's, the it's, hustle. it's a constant hustle. It doesn't stop every single day, no I'm matter what. It affects everything in my life. Relationships, Wait, fucking everything. New Jack City. What the fuck is happening right here? I don't Wait, know. What's the hustle? Well, tell me what you do. I'm an actor, comedian, host. Oh, that's so great. Okay, great. Everything's fine. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I assume the viewers do. I'm the odd man out. Someone's got to tell me what the fuck he, is going on. His show got canceled. 
Oh, really? <laughs> no, but, but that was over you know, yeah, the timing thing. But he, that, he used to oh, work out fast. I thought we let that go like 50 minutes. We did, but I like to bring it back he to bring up his failure. It makes me feel good about my failure. You have it. I mean, you know what I mean? We've all, anyone who's in this business has failed several times. You got to fail a lot. I think about all the shows have been canceled. I was on IJ for less than a year before I jumped ship, and I probably could have lasted there a lot longer and kept doing it. But I've been on late night now just four years, just turned 41. And then before that, I think my longest job was like two years. Yeah. And then like, I can't tell you how many shows I was on that got canceled that I was like a, a creative part of, like an integral part of, like I could have made it better. And then you feel shitty, even though it's like not, yeah. not your show, like it's not your name on the marquee. Everyone, we're all in the I mean, same it, boat. It, yeah, it's, cra- it's, it's crazy. I mean, there, there's been, and we all know we're all in the business, like, I, I I was far along with a network show going to happen recently, like working four months on it, and then right at the end, plug got pulled. We were told so it was yeah. definitely going. Yeah, of course. Definitely going. You Paperwork's knew. not. You knew Boom, that. done. Definitely going. <laughs> did now I, you know. Did I, yeah, now you know. Before I, did, I, did, I knew now, yeah. And that's it. And then yeah. next time you'll come in, and you won't take anyone's and then you'll learn, and then the next one will be a success. I mean, that's. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of silly. It's all silly. I feel like there's some bad music coming right now. There always is. Uh, I music. want you to listen to this, listen to this sound right here. You remember that sound? Of course. All right, now let me ask you another question. Did you, you remember AOL? Yeah. How Did many, you have how many free hours? Yeah, I got so many free hours still. <laughs> Did you have AOL Instant Messenger? <laughs> so many free hours. <laughs> yeah, of course. You better use those before they reverse net neutrality. <laughs> sure? Don't get mad. Don't yeah, get mad. Neutrality. Get it. I got um, a DVD. It's the message. Do, you, do you remember? Don't say it, please, but do you remember your screen name? Uh, yes. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, this is a segment I like to call Armchair Futurist, right? This show's about the revolution. The sure. year's 2050, 33 years from now. Okay. I'm going to ask you what your industry looks like in the year 2050. Television producing. Late night well, television. All right, producing. late night television. However you want to phrase that. But before you do that, my good friend Failure here, Derek D, has a very <laughs> uncanny ability to pin, talk to a person for 58 minutes and 42 seconds and then pinpoint pretty closely what their AOL Instant Messenger screen name was. Okay. So I'm going to give him I a mean, shot, my, my and then records, I'm going to ask you that question. Yeah. Record's pretty good. My record's pretty good. It's but pretty I, damn good, dude. The, the last few, I've, 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 I've been off. But, um... Yeah, you, you know. You're still in the neighborhood. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 probably like... I don't know. There's a number in it, it's right? be a fucking great conclusion. <laughs> yeah, there's a number in it, right? Is, you got a number in it? Yeah, there's a number in it. There's a number in it. it yeah. It's probably like, like... I don't know, like E-Lead Man... Or like, uh, I don't. Hold I, on we, a second. Hold we, on a we second. We talk about sports or anything. So I don't know. E lead man. It's cool. E. <laughs> e man. Or like, uh, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. I don't know if he's a, he's yeah. a fan of the Bears or, or the Jordan. Cubs. Jordan. Yeah. I mean, he's obviously likes drumming. I mean, come on. You yeah, no music. I know, but it was like, well, like you know, drummer. But he guys, I'll be over here if anyone man. needs me. Just, <laughs> just, you know. So, so I'm works off. it out. We lost What's your final guess? I don't know. I would say, um, I would say it's like, it's like the. Lead, lead man or something or like you know, play on your name a play on your name but having to do with maybe music somewhere okay uh, 18 I don't know <laughs> 18 is not bad because that's high yeah and of course high means life yes in Hebrew and 18 you know you're like also you, a member of the tribe uh, call quest uh, no. hold on where is this broadcasting to? <laughs> 2017 it's good to have a, 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 f- a fellow member we're on the David Duke network <laughs> David oh no, no. no. <laughs> never know man that guy uh, thanks back. guys for listening to thanks PBR listening. that's the only time we had I've been Joe Fatto <laughs> from <laughs> Practical <laughs> Jesters <laughs> never, <laughs> never heard of me <laughs> Joe Fatto uh, go, what was it do you remember so what was it I think it's it was uh, still at my email addresses. You know? Oh, okay. I think it's ERX11. Yeah. Oh. It's just always been the same because I had the same nickname since junior high. What was it? ERX11? Yeah, ERX. ERX? ERX. Oh. Yeah, I know. Everyone's like, oh, ERX. And I'm like, ERX? I'm like, no, it's just ERX. So it's just like, it makes, it's nothing. It's ERX11. Yeah. So everyone wants to I, try to get I said my email. E. I have a great time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said E. No, but you were a play on a name and then the number wasn't bad. Yeah. I, you know, it's I, pretty close. I stand corrected. Yeah. I think and one I, time I actually nailed the first segment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. Me too. I get it. Exactly. <laughs> Only if the show had a segment producer. It'd be good. We're having fun. That's right. all that counts. Yeah. Right a lot there. of guy talk. There is no sports yet, which I'm grateful for. I appreciate that. Dude, we I can talk about sports. You want to no, talk about sports? Don't no, do it. No. I know you're a hockey guy. Yeah. I am. Yeah, no one watched that. Uh, uh, no, oh, there it is. You oh, got Dallas footballs. Uh, <laughs> Dallas. Oh, I love the Big, Cowboys. The old pig He's skin. a Dallas fan. It's crazy. Yeah. 30. The Cowboys and the versus the Rangers. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't Watch get why people time. have such problems. There was a joke, I think, on the show. It's I, not, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> there was a, I mean, neither. And then my dad was a sports broadcaster. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, play by play guy. And um, I do like love playing sports. sports. Um, he did like a lot of like Bulls pregame to Paul oh, Blue nice. Demons and stuff. And then like tons of. Um, 
tons of like high school like state championship stuff like later in his career like when he went because he did behind the camera and he still did stuff but he was uh, started at Newsweek and did the, the sports desk at NBC in Chicago that's why we moved to Chicago because he had the 10 o'clock news before uh, Mark G and Greco took over mm. but he worked with like uh, Greg Gumbel and that, my dad's an incredible play by play guy mm. wonderful guy but um, I will just say that uh, 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 sport uh, oh I was saying oh sports man see sports fuck me up Gets me all weird. I like playing them. Wow, is it, but is I don't, don't want to follow. Back, going back to No, I just like thing. playing. Yeah. I don't know. My, I don't even I love playing them, but just like the, oh, the mono joke tonight. And I think it was like 70% of um, men feel obligated, um, some new study, some Pew study, whatever, feel obligated to um, uh, talk about sports even if they don't want to. Like, because it's a thing where it's like, yo, you guys are dudes. Let's talk about yeah, sports. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like a thing. And I've always been proud. Like, all my friends at home in high school, they're still like, we get together. We all got kids, you know, but it's time to do fantasy league. And I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't do yeah. fantasy. Like, I don't yeah. do it anymore. But they bond over it. sports. And I think, I honestly, I think it's great. Whatever, it's whatever can get men talking. You know? <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck. But I mean, I just uh, don't. I'm a Joe. You know, it's a, it's a thing for me. Like, I don't want to follow stats. Yeah. Who yeah. the fuck has time for this? I mean, uh, so, but I some guy, it. some guys, it's they, how they remember all that stuff. Stuff, like my brother-in-law it, it's it, beautiful it yeah like someone yeah. could like yeah, it's like a beautiful mind you, yeah. like, you just be like who's the right fielder on the Royals and they'll just like come out with a name like it's crazy like, but a couple, as a a kid, couple months ago I had to go to the NFL experience I did an opening uh, in Times Square it's <laughs> did you have thing. to throw a football so or anything I, yeah. no I meet oh, I meet yeah. uh, Roger Goodell Roger Goodell I meet oh, the, really? the commissioner and I walk over and, I, and I'm and i like they say hey you know you want to meet the commissioner and I was like yes like, yeah sure we'll go over and say hi so we go over say hello shake hands they take a picture of us and I'm like we're talking for a minute and he's like oh you you know you're a sports fan I'm like I you know, I love. I'm more of a state fan. I love New York. So if a New York team's winning, it's fine. So we do a little back and forth, and then <laughs> there's people now have lined up to take a picture, <laughs> and I turn around and they all want a picture with me. <laughs> so I start taking pictures with everybody, and he's like, and I hear him say to his assistant. What the hell is this guy? <laughs> no, I was. I was like, I don't know why I'm even here. I don't even know anything about sports. I was like, I hardly know how to spell NFL. You should be like, Roger Dell, yeah, 50 mil. 50 uh, mil. A 50 year. mil, free health care for your whole family, and uh, use of a private jet. See, again, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm out right now. I, mean, I, I know I that. I, That's what I, only got. It. It's I thought his name was Robert. I, I thought his name was Robert. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Robert. Hey, Robbie. Robert. I got you know me. I go, in hot, I go in hot and confident all the time. That's the Robbie, way. high five. That wouldn't be <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> it's the only way to do it. And also, you can pull it off. It's so great. It's so fun to do, especially when, like people are so powerful. I was speaking to Pound the other day, and I was coming out too hot. And I was thinking about you, too. I was just like coming to too hot because they it was a UJA panel, United Jewish Appeal. Mm -hmm. And of course, they opened with like a fucking hot, tight five minutes of like a Holocaust video. And I was just like, and of course, <laughs> they, come, they come back to me. <laughs> That's the best way to have you well, it's, it's a survivor video and it is yeah. it's incredible but then they come back to me and I'm like I'm here to talk about my yuck yuck show uh, and my friend from the daily show is next to me and we are both like it's like a curb your enthusiasm episode and I'm just mm. like do I gotta I'm like I gotta come out hot so I came out hot and I didn't say I want to say like oh the opener what do you guys think of the opener pretty good like I had a million things right, going right. but I just broke the ice hot and quick because like it's something like I saw yeah, for you, especially when you do come out you just gotta go out and do it because if not and you don't come out with that confidence <laughs> You're gonna die out there, <laughs> Robert. Robert Goodell. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby G. What an idiot. Bobby I love G. it. Bobby so, G. So, what do you think it looks like? You think it's different? The future, the future of. Um, it's funny you're talking about that. I was talking about that panel. It's the same kind of thing. Um, everything is so niche, and everything I feel like is just going to be so tuned to the individual. All this stuff is just going to fragment out. And I don't know what that means. I'm not that smart. I never even saw, like, I never even understood, like, when CDs started to be digitized. You know, the music industry people will tell you, like, they didn't even understand, even like when things started to be like MP3, and that was gone in like a, a couple of years because it just went to streaming. Mm -hmm. And for TV, I just think everything is being catered to the individual. You can sit there and you on your phone and you can become a star and you can feel that some semblance of that feeling when you put the phone up to you and it could be all about you. So I think everything just gets more and more fractured. And I think. It's wonderful because there's more, going to be more and more avenues for people to get their creative out there and their ideas out there. And I always think there's going to be hits and like shows in the moment, but I think it's going to stop being, you know, you're stop going to, I don't think people are going to be able to, it's like the, you know, three camera sitcom. I think that stuff's going to sort of go away and everything's just going to be more uh, uh, individually tailored. I really don't know what it means. To me, it's just like talent's always going to rise to the top. Mm -hmm. I think you find, you're going to find people who have the chemistry, you know, whether it's guys on IJ. Or it's someone like Seth who has a great voice, or you know anyone in that world who's just got something to say, and the people in charge are going to have to, they're going to have more choices, and it's going to be a little more confusing. But I, I just, I can't say enough about like how little I, I know about how I think it's going to go. I just think you're going to have so many more choices, and that's good for the consumer at the end of the day. How do you think they're going to? How do you think it's going to be consumed? 
You think that, that's a drastic change? It's already changed, right? Oh. I mean, I, I always go to uh, the Muppet Show. When, yep. I, I, when I was a kid, sure. at Thursday nights at 7 o'clock, I know me going. and my four siblings used to get around the TV and we'd watch the Muppet Show. And if you weren't around the TV because you didn't get home from uh, the ground round, yeah, with yeah. It, right, you missed it, yeah. Yeah. right? Appointment, like that, viewing. Appointment viewing. So, and, and now oh. we are, like you said, you could watch it anywhere on your phone. You, uh, everything's on demand. So in you know 33 years... What are we looking at? Everything has sped up to the point. We were we had like a harassment meeting today about like what harassment means in the workplace. Like in all seriousness, it was just like, and then they're talking about social media. They haven't even like written these laws yet. Like there's no, it's all yeah. so gray, and everything is so gray because everything is evolving so fast. Like I was you can't talking keep about, up. Yeah. you can't. They went from like vinyl to cassette to cassette singles, uh, singles to, to like the DVD or to CDs, and then to um, MP3s, and now streaming is just like, and then it's like. I don't. They are just gonna have to plug it in your head. Yeah, they are that's weird. Have to. They have it. <laughs> he it's called all, it. It's like a base kind of thing to say that people talk about. It's like, yo, man, they're gonna put a chip in my head. It's just like you're fucking right. They are. Yeah, man. Yeah. They're gonna do it all. And it's gonna have like your medical information. It's gonna have everything, and it's it's gonna be some version of many. Some hybrid of many, many sci-fi movies, and uh, it doesn't matter because we're all going to die anyway. So. Yeah, well, isn't that crazy? How one. Hold, hold, hold your loved ones. Uh, yeah, close tonight, twenty <laughs> fifty. There's no way I'm making it. Isn't it crazy no how way. all sci-fi though becomes reality? Almost, almost everything that you yeah, see. Yeah. You know, sci-fi shapes the people. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, everybody. I would, I, I missed you, and then I forgot. It's like come back. <laughs> I'm here. You could have jumped in many times. We need you over here. Yeah. He had something to say, but that's all the time we have on this week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Eric, it's a pleasure to be here. Honestly, you guys are dude, great. It was awesome. It was awesome. Is so there good. anything we'll you want to plug on the way out or where we can stalk you on social media? No, you can uh, you can follow I don't do Twitter very much. You want to follow me on Instagram and see pictures of drummers and dogs yep. and like <laughs> probably like pictures of like a dog lying on me. What it's, what's the handle? It's ERX11. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. I really keep it real, man. Erx11. <laughs> 100 emoji. I don't know. Is it did I do it right? Yeah, you uh, kept it 100. I did. Oh yeah, yeah. What said so, uh, what? Dirty? Thanks for having me, guys. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't know. I had something to plug. But no, we were done. We're so, done. Oh, we're, oh, we're just yeah, done yeah. now. <laughs> we'll just say. I Derek, mean, we can sit here and just wait for you to think Derek about it. Derekd.com. Yeah, I would say uh, Derekd.com. Oh, thank you, Joe. You I know, would say just don't go to Derekd.com anymore. <laughs> like, I would rather people follow Chris Ladondo than go to Derekd.com. Don't you oh, dare. Don't oh, you oh, dare. Pizzabeerrevolution.com. You can find us on the web, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's give us some love. We'll love you back. Thank you so much. For love you, Eric. You got it. Uh, be Thanks. sure to watch Late Night with Seth Myers every night. Yeah. 1235, the best late night show on television. Agreed. Burn. Got you guys. <laughs>